All right, I'm gonna change out the the drive sprocket and uh, the bar and chain on this uh, Husqvarna 455 Rancher. I figured I'd make a video since uh, I found some good references online, but um, none for this particular saw and <clears throat> none that went through the whole process. So, take off the clutch cover. Sure the chain brake is off. That's pretty nasty. I'll have to clean that out. So what's on here now is an Oregon Microlite 18-inch <clears throat> bar and chain, <clears throat> which I actually like a lot, but I'm gonna cut some some stuff a little too big for the 18 inch bar and I have a 20 inch bar and I just got a new chain for it so I'm going to give that a shot uh, unfortunately it's a different drive sprocket so Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. so I'll take the uh, clutch off. It's an opposite direction thread, so you got to turn it clockwise, and uh, uh, first you gotta. <clears throat> You gotta stop the piston. Oh. Get the spark plug out. Looking yeah, so so. Uh, all right, so uh, all the recommendations I've gotten to stop the piston is using some rope. They sell piston stops that screw into the spark plug hole. Uh, are, I believe they're metal, and um, I hear a lot of people say they can uh, crack the top of the piston or score it or whatever, so uh, throw some rope in there. has these little indents. They have a tool that that actually fits in here and you can twist it off but I think I saw it for like $30 or something which doesn't seem quite worth it. You put a screwdriver in that little dent there. A 
couple of hits with a hammer and there you go. Alright, so uh, here's a little drive sprocket guy. This is a uh, uh, Oregon uh, edge drive or whatever it's called. Um, I needed this uh, because the uh, Oregon Microlite stuff that I bought was uh, 3.25, and the existing drive set up on the saw was uh, 3 eighths. Um, there's a little bearing that we're going to have to regrease and reuse in a second. Uh, clean this guy off a bit more. Here's actually one of those tools that I bought, uh, but it's the wrong tool. I bought it because it was like four bucks or something, but it doesn't fit. Uh, it's for a different, a different. Uh, I think it's for a husky, but not for this model. It doesn't fit on this guy. All right, so. Now, I'm not 100% sure on what grease you're supposed to be using for this guy, but I have some general purpose grease, and uh, I actually just greased this not that long ago, so This is the opposite thread, so it's counterclockwise to tighten it, and uh, again there's a tool that fits in there nicely to tighten it. This guy does not fit, this is the wrong one, um, however, this, uh, from what I understand, a hand tightening of this sufficient because it's going to tighten itself up when you start running the saw. So I hand tighten it as tight as I could get it. And uh, that's what I did last time and uh, I didn't have any problems but I'm certainly uh, open to comments if uh, people advise against that. So
No. Actually, you're supposed to pull this guy out. Put a little slack on this when you're tightening up the, the clutch because when the cylinder turns the opposite way, it wants to pull this handle through and uh, can damage that. Um, I kind of forgot to do that. But. I don't think this guy's going to turn much more. So, kind of, kind of, yes, yeah, so turning counterclockwise pulls, pulls this guy in, and that's about as far as I can tighten up by hand. So, I think that'll be all right. Um, okay, pull that guy back out. stack bar my new chain that's in the right direction. 
is the stock 20 inch bar. Oh crap, I forgot to clean this guy out. That's pretty nasty. a bit better. Chain. Oh, disaster. So that thing wasn't suited, right? Okay. 
about now. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit loose. Grease up the nose. See if I broke anything. but I had that before so I don't think I broke anything but I think uh, I need some carburetor adjustment or something uh, but that's it for now take care